So I just came across a clip of this guy. I don't know if he's Indian. I don't know if he's Somalian. Yeah, anyway, I don't care. Uh, from the look of things, he's Zambian. He speaks. I don't know if he's can I call it Nyanja or Chewa? I don't know. Anyway, he he talked about so many things that the UPND government promised the people of Zambia in comparison to what is actually hap happening in Zambia and this video got me hooked like i got very interested uh, very interested and i had to watch it almost three times like it was really interesting and i have a lot to say about this this clip i have a lot to, to say about what he said but in the meantime i would like to share the clip with you guys so so that you get to listen to what he said and after that i've got something to share with you as usual Macho mabwanji, want to Zambia. Ha. Ah, we reading headlines these days. We ma pass some agonies. Hmm. Ma ministers, we watch panichola murira. Mune na ne na guti no yai. Imwa bf muna kitenga kongole. Ni mumuna ononga vintu. Daso tiro kangi wakula murira. Daso tiro kangi wakonza ikonomi. Mweo pa mwe zofu na mkazi. Mpenze mkazi wa vene. As a girlfriend, I have any. When you go to Mkazi, I didn't ask him. Mamuna, I came among good a pump here, Jaya in Heraja. Eh? With Mkazi, I'm a good and awful Nika Vake. Well, go promise a vampire, good ya in a ten hours in Cabrera, fourteen hours away, my triplets. Vumona Kufagamo, Vana Nikupase, Numba Benzi Mumuriwe. Eh? Come on, Sean Guriwe. Yo, fourteen hours, your bread and wind. About two years, your Peter. Dollar the AC up a fourteen three, up a manje, equivalent twenty four manje. Katimuzo Zivalini, could venomuza chita, or muzo chita, or muzeve plani, mofuniranji, mpando. Ula mano pesa mamuna, tisanzo ni ujamamuna with a funam kaziwa vene, am funam kazi, am siya mamuna wake, no bura kurieve, manje eve, or can you pass a vum or two years, ya Peter. Was I not promise I can go pass? I am a brim of Mamuna Kale, Uti, in Fuiti Mamuna Kale, and Diana Lova, Epeza Nana Lom Kazi, and Diana Pusika, Epeza Pasa Pasa Vambi, Mkazi Safunika Futa Futa Mabenzi, if it is our Colora Quatu, Mdimango, more politically simple. You are politically important. Mutifutis Awanse, please resign on moral grounds. Visit and Kani, Tikarena my election. Ah, yai. What is your want to show? Don't pay the passati. If it twenty nine chakut, you don't even have a good month and yend away. Capena, if you have any panga, better would you want a gun is the report of the food? Why kill the report of my subsidy? Omazungaka, Loreni, Mugabuka subsidy, Kupa San Malone, and Menomophone. Already, my Toragali and Loni is in the city on Ekan Onega going in the end. Oh, Nizano is. When to Zambia and the Evi, which you vote, vote, Coca Zero Four, Uvara Magauni, eh, eh, Atimuli Mimzatu, oh, Eo Tikauli Lamotons, Vaziva Chapa Gunyata Vantu, Tuala Ponona, Tuala Katakum Koshi, Tuchago Mingirato, eh, Mnamulend is one Pelican in Kuchani Kurusaka, eh, what cracks squad is a basic cracks out, Menyani will you moon to touch Adingan in Gikani Campera Lero, Onanconi. You turn out to vote in large numbers on the 12th of August. Say by 16th of August we are sworn in at 10 hours. Very good. 10 hours we are sworn in. By 14 hours the Kwasha will appreciate against the dollar. By 14 hours. The Kwasha will appreciate against the dollar within two hours, three hours, even earlier. Immediately, the swearing in actually ends. Check the foreign exchange markets, you'll see the Kwasha will appreciate. I remember I was on radio one time in Phoenix in Lusaka, and I talked about this. One person who shall remain nameless, but is a minister in PF, called and said, Ah, HH will have a power. Could the exchange register improve in two hours? It's impossible. I said, where do you live? Do you understand the financial market? That's how it works. So I have answered your question, Ramukuka. The market will react because of confidence, quality of leadership, 
vision, <laughs> management capacity, monitoring and control, zero tolerance to corruption, all these combined <laughs> to help the Kwacha so appreciate against the dollar. So when President H. H. was in opposition, he talked about how dollar for Ikapona at the Ngatuanga office by 14 hours, each dollar upon a Murekutska. You remember those clips? He said so many things. For me, I feel like President H. H. over promised. He over promised. Now that he's in office, the dollar is like it's like almost 24 the dollar is almost the age man is is almost the age man as some of us anyway but of course the they are they are the the upnd government or most upnd supporters i'm going to argue that when the president was making those promises the the circumstances were different for example there was no war in ukraine that impacted the the fuel prices you know the fertilizer prices and and the other stuff so you know, there, there are all those arguments. But at the same time, let's remember when the PF government complained that things were bad uh, because of the COVID, the UPND argued that, you know, they even uh, talked about how they can solve the economic problems despite having the COVID, despite the COVID-19, they argued. So now that the 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 UPND and government and there is war in Ukraine which actually affected the the, the fuel prices and other stuff. Uh, them why can't they use those same economic plans that they had to solve the current situation right now? Because if you ask me, things are not good at all. The U the, like I said before, the US dollar is now one US dollar is is equivalent to about twenty four kwacha. It's almost the same age as some of us. It is, which is not good. It is, it is horrible. It is bad. If you look at the fuel prices, this is the highest since since Zambia became a country. Since Zambia became Zambia, this is the highest. So, we 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 can try to defend the the, the UPN government for for as many times as we want, but that doesn't change the fact that the government needs to do something about it. That's why they are there. They have to do something about it. If you you are quite right, you can't buy. Uh, fuel prices at a cheap price because of it is an international problem. It is expensive. It is expensive everywhere. Then subsidize the fuel prices because you can't say that yeah we don't have money. But you when you look at the recent incidences, we've seen the government um, awarding monies to some people that uh, were just being pointed a gun at and they are given a, a lot of money. We, we can see that the government had the capacity to increase CDFs, which, which I agree with. CDF is good, but I think uh, maintaining low fuel prices is more important than, than CDF, if you ask me, in the sense that if you subsidize the fuel prices, the commodities of things will be cheaper, meaning that even the poorest uh, citizens will be able to afford to to be able to afford transportation, will be able to afford to buy food, they'll be able to afford to do a lot of things despite being in a poor state. But if there is CDF, which is good also, but if you can see CDF, it is, it is only limited to a certain number of people. It is not for everyone. And if you talk of CDF also, there will even be people that will be stealing some of those funds. So as much as CDF is, is very good, I agree with it, it should be there, but subsidizing the fuel prices should be our number one priority. Anyway, so uh, let me know what you think about this video. And uh, if you're watching this channel for the first time, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.